happened, but now they're together, and it is menacing. Joining us now is Florida Congressman Greg Stubbe. Congressman, it's great to have you today. Um, I want to get your take on what the president just said and the events that unfolded over the weekend. Some are suspecting that China and Russia are coming closer together. Others are saying because this might have demonstrated uh, a little weakness for Vladimir Putin, that all of a sudden China might back away just a little bit. Well, certainly China and Russia are working together. They have common interests now, and they realize that the leadership in the United States is incredibly weak. They all watched the fall with Afghanistan. They see that there's no leadership coming from the White House and Joe Biden on foreign policy. Uh, none of this would have happened if President Trump was president. Uh, if he was still president right now, Russia would have never invaded Ukraine because they were afraid of what Trump might have responded to. They had sanctions in place, the Trump sanctions on the Nord Stream pipeline that prohibited them from taking those type of actions. President Trump was very tough on China and Russia economically, so they wouldn't have the resources they have right now to wage the type of agreements that they have with each other and uh, to basically wage war against the Ukrainians. Congressman, I look at this situation, and there are all sorts of dimensions to it, but one of them, obviously, is the energy dimension, because you're dealing with Russia. And, and when the Wagner Group seize a city early in this attempted coup. The question was, are they going to shut off pipelines? Is there going to be an oil crisis? And it reminds me once again how vulnerable we are from a foreign policy perspective because we do not control our destiny on energy. China's a part of that story, Congressman. Is there anything in light of what's happening in Russia right now that might help us move the ball a little bit, maybe House Republicans, something when it comes to U.S. energy and the way we can use that on the international stage? Yeah, we did that on the House side. We passed a big domestic pro-energy production bill. And of course, it's sitting in the Senate because it's in control by the Democrats. But you're absolutely right. Having energy independence is huge for the national security and the safety of the American people. And we need to continue to have pro-domestic production of oil and gas. We shouldn't be relying upon uh, Saudi Arabia or foreign entities. We can produce everything that we need right here. And because uh, the Biden administration is fighting against the domestic production of energy and, ga energy and gas, you're seeing other countries go around us, and it's making us weaker. And energy is a huge component of what's going on in the world today. I want to follow up on that, Congressman. It was interesting. I was reading a report today that crude oil being transported at sea is actually falling. Some are viewing that as a sign that Russia's oil shipments to India and China may be waning. Is that a sign that some of the pressure against Russia's um, oil economy is working, or is that more a sign that maybe India and China are starting to pull back um, from some of the oil shipments, or to Brian's point, third and finally, uh, I guess choice C, is it more a story of our domestic energy production issues? Yeah, I, I sure hope so. I sure I sure hope that Russia's starting to back off and uh, they're having production problems or selling problems to those countries because of Western sanctions. They can't sell their oil and gas uh, throughout the world. But we need to focus right here on America. We need to have an America first policy. We've passed a bill on the House to accomplish those goals. And those are the type of things that we should be focused on. We shouldn't be doing what Joe Biden has done in selling our strategic petroleum uh, oil and gas reserves uh, to the Chinese Communist Party. Party. Congressman, final question. Some are reading into the events that happened over the weekend and, and basically um, making the inference that shortly Ukraine will win the war. Your thoughts? Well, I sure hope so. Um, we've given them $180 billion, I think is the number now, $160, $180 billion. Uh, so a huge investment from the Americans on the support in the West, which is way less than other European countries. And uh, any, anybody in America right now does not support what's going on with the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Any ceasefire there or peace there would be great for not just America, but the world. Congressman Greg Stubbe, thank you so much. Good to see you.